Hi guys, Sir Carl Snefson here with my League of Legends Nasus build. As you can see for Masteries, I take a 5, 24, 1 split. For Runes, I take 13 Flat Armor, 4 Life Steal, 24 Magic Resist at level 18, and 11 Physical Damage. Nasus is one of my favourite champions. At the beginning of Season 4, I managed to go 5 and 0 with him, and now sit at a 76.9% win rate as Nasus at the time of making this video. For starting items, I take a Dorin Shield, a Green Trinket, and a Health Pot. On my first B, I'll attempt to buy either Mercury Treads, Warden's Mail, or Sheen, depending on how well the lane is going. I'll generally take Sheen if I feel I'm very far ahead and can afford just to farm better and win fights. The other two items are more defensive, but also still make up the core of my build, with the core of my build being Merc Treads with Alacrity Upgrade, Randuin's Omen, and a Trinity Force. I personally feel that Randuin's Omen is one of the best items in the game right now, along with this Trinity Force allows me to stick to the AP carry and AD carry much better. This then leaves me with three items to take dependent on the enemy team and the situations that are occurring. One of the most common of these situational items is Spirit's Visage. Even with its recent nerf, it is still an incredibly useful item. It can give me a massive boost to survivability through its passive and also with its health and magic resist. The only time I do not take this item is if the enemy team has taken a full AD team. This may be a rare occurrence, but I've still seen plenty of players build magic resist when the enemy team has no AP. Should the enemy team be very dependent upon auto attacks, there is a good chance I will take a thorn mail. It's also a very useful item in lane if you can farm well enough to gain it early against champions who may try to duel you like Jax. The next item that I may use is Frozen Heart. This is a rarer pick for me as I may often try to get other members of my team to take it. However, if the enemy team has very high AD or has a very weak AP and I may choose not to get Spirit's Visage, I may take this. On rare occasions I have taken Randuin's Thornmail and Frozen Heart against teams which are completely dependent upon auto attacking champions and it becomes a very easy win at this point. If I feel my health is fine but I require a good split between armour and magic resist I may actually take a Guardian Angel. The passive may not appear very useful but when you consider how tanky Nasus is and the fact that you'll come back with a large amount of HP and survivability it can really turn a fight or a game around when you come back and are able to take down towers after what should have been an ace. Finally, I may take Warmogs. Often I'll actually take Warmogs when I feel the enemy AP carry is very strong due to the fact that it helped me survive their initial burst damage and come out alright from it. For an example, this could help me come out alright and then survive whilst chasing the AD carry from something like a combination of an Annie ult followed by a Gragas Q and ult. I'll give a special mention to Sunfire Cake, although I don't personally take it as I feel Nasus's ultimate covers the same sort of ground, I know lots of players do like the item, and it can be quite useful, especially if many of the enemy team are building a lot of armour, and you feel the need to be able to deal some magic damage to them. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the build or video, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe, and tune in for more.